Hi, I'm Will Hollingsworth from the Spotted Owl in beautiful Cleveland, Ohio. City of light, city of magic. I am a Star Chef's 2016 Rust Belt Rising Star. And today we're gonna use a Vitamix Vita Prep 3 to make one of our most famous cocktails, our Pina Colada, uh, using ingredients that you can find at a grocery store or at a high-end wine shop. So let's get behind the bar and get started. So the first thing that we are going to do is we're gonna make our pina colada mix. So I'm gonna take my coconut dessert. Uh, we're gonna upend all of this into our Vitamix container. We're gonna add our pineapple juice. I'm gonna turn it all the way up to 10 and then I'm gonna kick it onto high. And uh, don't be afraid to over mix it. Just make sure that it really runs until you can see that the blades are pulling the liquid down through it in kind of a vortex to make sure that you are getting that really good, smooth consistency. The power of the machine is really gonna help that frozen coconut dessert melt, and it's gonna really help you get that uh, very silky, very sort of homogenous consistency. The Vitamix is a piece of equipment that we came into about a year after we opened. It really transformed everything that we were capable of making. It really opened up a lot of doors for us in terms of prep. It's able to deliver uh, a really concentrated, really pure flavor. So for one drink, uh, we are going to have a half an ounce of fresh lime juice, a half an ounce of velvet falernum in this case. For us, we love to use green chartreuse, which you should be able to get in any liquor store at an ounce and a half and then an ounce and a half of our fresh pina colada mix. And then to make one drink, 10 decently sized ice cubes. I'm gonna take my pina colada mix and my jigger. I'm gonna measure out one and a half ounces of that. It's gonna go right in. We are going to do our green chartreuse. Half an ounce of our velvet falernum half an ounce of fresh squeezed lime juice. What's really beautiful about the Vitamix machine is that because of the nature of the blades and the nature of the way it pulls ingredients down, it's gonna give you a really consistent body um, as long as you are uh, willing to let it run for long enough. So we're gonna add our 10 ice cubes, put on our lid, and we're just gonna run this up to about four or five uh, until you can really hear it kind of smooth out. It's really kind of an unmistakable sound that it makes when, when it's blended a drink properly. I like to serve this drink in a champagne coupe just because it's sort of cheeky and fun. I also think it looks really nice. And the other thing that we are going to do is add a little bit of fresh grated nutmeg on top for aromatics. The wide nature of the glass, I think, makes it really nice for those aromatics. This is the iconic Spotted Owl Pina Colada, uh, modified so that just about anybody can make it at home. And that's it. Cheers. <laughs>